Before you put on your sample, it's a good idea to check the condition of the specimen holder. So the specimen holder is this here. It's where you're going to put your sample. You do not want that to be at an angle, so that will tilt your sample. You do not want it to be dirty here or here, so in these grooves, because that can also tilt your sample and cause imaging problems. And you certainly don't want it to be loose like this. So um, if any of those things happen, you will need to remove it to clean it, uh, if applicable, and then put it back in. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. The other circumstance in which you may want to remove the holder that's in place and put in a new one is if you're using uh, a multi-well plate holder like this one, or if the person before you used one and forgot to return to the specimen holder that is appropriate for dishes or slides. So usually these holders are locked into position on the stage, as so. Uh, before you go in and try to remove it or clean it or do anything like that, the first thing is you want to go uh, to a short objective and lower it all the way to the bottom. So on our LSM 900 Tonks with AI Sample Finder, that means you wanna be on the 5X objective. That's the one that's in position here, and you can tell that that's the case because of the touchscreen. On the LSM 900 Lupin, the best objective to put in place is the 10X. Um, this one, um, Tonks doesn't have a 10X, but if you uh, are on Lupin, you'll see there's a 10X. Once you're on the appropriate objective, before you do anything on the specimen holder, you want to go to the load position. When you click on load position, the objective drops all the way to the bottom. Um, and so now you have more room to manipulate this without bumping into the objective. So to remove it, it's very simple. You're just gonna uh, pop it out like this. You are going to do whatever you need to do in terms of cleaning it or switching it for another one, and then you wanna put it back in position. And so this is, uh, can be a little bit tricky. You'll notice that around the edges, there are these grooves in the corner, uh, actually more platforms than grooves. And in this corner, you have this little platform and two springs. So those are the springs that are going to hold it in place. Now, when you put this back in, you wanna make sure that it doesn't drop through here, like so. You want to instead place it so that it is on the edge of this, and there's not a lot of clearance. You can see there's just barely a little lip that you can put it in. Notice that I've aligned the red dot with the red dot. And then you can either push from the right or pull from the left to make it go into position. And then once it's um, set up, you want to make sure that it's nice and level, that if you push on it, it can't go down further, uh, and certainly that it's not wobbly like so. All right, and so the key when you're putting it in is just to put it on that lip and then gently slide from right to left and push it down. Uh, once you've completed that, you can go back here and go back to the working position. To do that, you don't press the big button, uh, which is very tempting. You press this button with the triangle and the line and that will return the objective to whatever position it was in. That is typically the position in which you want to start your imaging.